Solving quadratic equations, this is in your textbook on page 142, example 21. I want you to first look at this, and you will see that in all three cases, we do not have factors. So the principle which I taught you in the previous video, that A times B equals zero is not yet relevant which means you must simply factorize each of these equations to get factors so that you can apply the principle of either a or b must be equal so if you look at example a then the factorization is the highest common factor where you have remainder one minus remainder 2 in the brackets. So you must factorize that. If you look at example B, then you should recognize that as the difference between two squares, which means um, I taught you the two brackets where the first terms are the same, the second terms are the same, one bracket is a plus and one bracket is a minus. So you must simply factorize the um, difference between two squares. And if you look at example 3, then you will see that this is a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, which means we are going to use either, I'm sorry, method a1, a2, b1, B2. And if you don't remember what I'm talking about, please watch my videos in, on factorizing quadratic equations, which are labeled A1, A2, B1, B2. And then again, you will get two brackets, okay, where your terms will be different. So let's look at the solution. For these examples. If you look at A, when you have factorized, you get 4x and then in brackets 2x minus 1. So again, now the principle counts that if I multiply A times B and I must get 0, then either A must be 0, so 4x equals 0, or B must be 0, meaning 2x minus 1 equals 0. And with this, you are just simply going to find the value for x. So these are two linear equations. Use Goros or O, and it will give you the value of x either being 0 or x being 1 half. The second example, which is the difference between two squares, is factorized as x minus 4 or x plus 4. So either the first bracket is 0 or the second bracket is zero, again, calculate by using Goro's or, or, and it will give you x equals four, or x equals negative four. In this quadratic equation, if you can remember how to identify them, that is a plus c, so therefore it is an a method, and because this is plus b, it is a a1. And remember, A1 is plus plus, and it gives you two positive brackets. Please watch the videos about this if you can't uh, follow the step now. Then when you have factorized, it gives you 3x plus 4 as one factor, and 2x plus 1 as another factor. And each of these, or either one of these, or must be equal to zero. Use Goro's o -O, and you will then find that your value for x is either negative 1 and 1 third or x is negative 1 half. So the very nice thing here then again is that you can do your check. The check will be done by using this value, substituting it into the place of x at each space, put this whole thing into your calculator and it should give you an answer of zero. Or then the second one is 
taking the value of negative 1 half, substitute it into the place of x squared. Remember, you must square it. As well as the x, put the whole thing into your calculator and it should give you an x, a zero.